everyone. This is Elvira. Um, I'm here to offer my yoga class. Oh, and my cat's ready to join me. She's ready. This is Pipa. All right. That's one thing I miss about uh, teaching at home is that the animals give a really nice energy. So you might see my cats coming in and out of the picture. Um, so I thought I'd offer finally these classes because uh, online, a lot of people do need it. And I felt like this was a good opportunity now with all the, the things going on in the world. And um, so this will focus, it'll be more of a half a style. However, I do feel like having some deep meditation at the end is beneficial. So I'll have something for you to, um, a loving kindness meditation to focus on at the end, as well as kind of like a, a deep progressive relaxation, which is yoga nidra. This is my other cat, Nico. <laughs> See, they know, they, they do, they know, they know when I'm ready to teach yoga, right, Nico? Okay. All right. Now you do go wherever you need to go. He might actually stay with me the whole time. <laughs> okay. So let's begin sitting tall and ground yourself down. <laughs> so just ground your sit bones. You can bring your hands on your knees. If you want to be more grounded, place your palms facing down. And if you want to feel more energy, bring your palms facing up. So just choose whatever feels good to you right now. And as you sit here, just try to roll the shoulders back and the chest forward, chin back. So you're nice and elongated in your spine from your top of your head to the base of your spine. It's one long line. And just start to take a few long, deep breaths here. And you want to try to create that breathing sound at the back of your throat like you're kind of blowing into um, like you're whispering almost in the back of your throat or you're fogging up a window like <sighs> so with your mouth closed you want to have that kind of constriction which is an ujjayi breath and as we go through that'll be your your breath as we go so Just notice how you're feeling, any energies within you, whether they're yours or not, just start to notice what's going on. And this is your time to come back to yourself. That's what yoga really is, is connecting to you. So set an intention, anything that you would like for yourself could be one word or a short positive statement to focus on for this class. It could be love, joy, peace, health, harmony, per prosperity, centeredness, strength, anything that you know is necessary at this time. Inhale deeply, hold the breath in, exhale, send it out to the universe, Good. let's bring the hands together and just create some heat and friction, you want to rub them quickly so you just get those meridians in your hands stimulated. And then separate your hands in front of your heart and just start to feel the tingling, the energy, the magnetic field. So we're just sensitizing ourselves. You can move your hands together and apart to just feel that energy. I 
And let's bring the hands together with the thumbs pressing into the sternum. And we'll tune in with a long om. So as you chant, that sound's going to come up from the base of your spine. You can imagine it coming up and cleansing all your chakras. You can imagine it twirling up and cleansing all the chakras. So it's completely up to you how you want to feel it. All right, so let's inhale deeply. Exhale all the air out. Inhale to begin. Oh. Inhale. Exhale. Let's just start with a short breathing exercise that'll help you center. It'll focus on the heart center. It's for a calm heart center. Um, this is a Kundalini Yoga breath exercise. Uh, I felt it was appropriate for this time uh, simply because it'll give you a bit more discernment, perspective, calming, and especially because the lungs are connected to the heart chakra. And um, I don't know about all of you, but I've been feeling my lungs aff affected by all the the energies around it's going right to my heart chakra so what you're going to do is place your right hand on your heart center and your left hand will be in gyan mudra i'm just going to pull it back a little bit just so that it's kind of relaxed your elbows relaxed now you can do the opposite too Left hand, sorry. So mirror what I'm doing, but you can put your left hand on your heart and right hand up. I think that is the correct hand position. In the end, you'll still get the, the right effect. So mirroring me or not, doesn't matter. So left hand on the heart, right hand up. The whole point is the breathing, really. So all you're doing is inhaling deeply holding the breath, and you hold as long as it's comfortable. When you can't hold anymore, that's when you're going to exhale all the air out. And hold the breath out as long as you can. So it might not be that long. And just continue with your capacity to hold in and to hold out. Focusing internally, eyes are closed. You can focus between your eyebrows, just rolling your eyes gently, slightly up. And just notice how you feel as you slow down your breath.
After your last hold, release that breath and just come back to a normal breath. Just inhaling deeply and exhaling, just relaxing when you're ready. Let your arms come down to your lap. And just notice the difference between before and after that breathing exercise, what that did to your nerves, your mind. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Good. So if your eyes are closed, you can start to open them now. And we are going to start our just movements, stretches, but I want you to keep in mind the centeredness that you found just as we started that breathing exercise. Uh, Anything that doesn't feel good or hurts, anything that, if it does hurt, you just back away or take the step before or go into a child's pose, which would be just, you know, your hips back and rela relaxing down, right? You just want to listen to your body more than anything here, okay? So let's begin. We'll just do some simple rotations of the upper body over the lower body. So this is, in kundalini yoga, it's called Sufi grinds. Um, so we'll start in one direction. As you inhale, roll your heart forward. As you exhale, pull the spine back. And what you're doing is you're trying to open your heart center as you rotate. So you're not just doing one big circle with a, with a stiff spine. You're actually trying to, oh, my cat just went in front of the camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's going to happen today. So let's inhale and roll forward. Exhale, pull your spine back. I think it's entertaining with the cats in the room. It makes me feel like I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> okay. And you want to loosen your shoulders with the movement too. So you're letting your head, your throat open on the inhale and moving back on the exhale. Opening, and then as you exhale, pull the spine back. Keep going in that one direction. And my cats are fighting now. Great. And let's switch directions going the other way. <laughs> Inhale. Heart forward. Exhale. Curl back. Oh, my. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but oh, you can a little bit. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this brings me back to teaching at home. For any of you that are watching, like, my old students, it'll just bring back all those memories. <laughs> Keep going, and you can go slower if you like. I'm just doing this. It's a bit energizing when you speed it up. Just make sure you keep breathing. And slowly inhale back to center. Exhale. And now let's bring the shoulders, hands to shoulders, sorry. Pull your elbows back and your upper arms are parallel to the ground. So the breathing is always inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Now, because of the stress that I've been feeling from all the stuff going on, literally my back in the lung area is sore and stiff and I haven't done any exercises. So I'm holding. So if I'm not going that far, that's why. 
So really, if I can show you the full movement, you want to be really all as much as you can over to the left and then exhale to the right. So when the movement becomes comfortable, you would speed it up. So it's inhale left, exhale right. So when you're comfortable, just close your eyes and focus between your eyebrows. In your mind, you can use the mantra Sat Nam to keep your focus. Inhale Sat, exhale Nam. It means true name, true identity. Identifying with our truth. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Lower your arm. So just, let's just do some circles with the head one direction. So trying not to overextend your neck back. So you're just going to go as far as it's comfortable and circle one way. So as you exhale, it's forward. As you inhale, you're rolling back, opening up the throat. Exhaling forward. And switch directions. Sorry, I'm just smiling because my, my, my cat's meowing and I don't want to distract you guys, but I feel like telling him to stop. So, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Let's inhale slowly back to center. Exhale. Good. Now let's come forward. We'll come to the hands and knees. So if you need something under your knees, you can put like a uh, padding or fold your mat, lift it and fold it, up to you, okay? Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. And if you have issues with the wrists, you could bring them a little bit forward so there's not as much pressure directly down onto the wrists. And we'll start with our cat cows here. So as you inhale, the belly's coming down, chest and chin forward. As you exhale, you're going to push your spine up, belly to spine, chin to chest, and push through your hands. Rolling down as you inhale, heart forward. Pull your shoulders back, open your heart, exhale, spine towards your ceiling, chin to chest. And just continue that movement with your breathing. It's like you're following your breathing. Your breath is guiding your movement. Inhale back to center. Exhale. My cat just flew across the screen. Okay. <laughs> A little entertainment. Okay. Let's bring the left hand under the face. And now we'll do our um, shoulder blade stretch here. So I feel like focusing on the heart center back. I feel like a lot of people are probably sad, holding a lot of grief in the lungs and the chest. So this is all kind of opening the heart center. So 
Right hand's gonna come up as you inhale. You're gonna open, lift, and twist. Exhale, you're just gonna reach underneath your left arm and twist under, but you're not going down all the way yet. Inhale, lift up again. Open. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale, lift. And then on your next exhale, you're gonna come all the way down and try to bring your shoulder, slide your shoulder to the ground. Let your head rest on the ground or a blanket of some sort if it's, if it's too low. Your left hand, if you want, you can bring it behind your back. And just breathe here, sinking down into your shoulder, trying to relax so that it opens up the back. Both my cats are on either side of my computer. <laughs> ah, it's fun. So I'm just breathing here, nice long deep breathing into the back. Now if your left hand is behind your back, Bring it down to the ground and lift up back to a tabletop position. And we'll do that on the other side. <clears throat> so left hand comes up as you inhale. Exhale, just underneath your right twist. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale and lift. <laughs> I put my camera in the wrong spot, man. <laughs> Exhale. You're coming all the way down. Shoulder to the ground. Rest your head down. Relax your head. Now, if you need to, you can keep your right hand down or you can lift it up and behind your back and breathe into the shoulder blades. Notice where you've been holding tension for this past little while. So I can tell you mine is right. So in my lungs, I feel restricted. And in my back, where the lungs are, that's all where I'm holding. And it's good to listen to these symptoms. They're usually very accurate in telling you something about yourself. My cats are unusually hyper. <laughs> well, it's oh my yeah yep and release your right hand to the ground if it's not there inhale lift back to center good and come back to tabletop all right so let's now come into a downward dog so you're going to bring your fingers or hands slightly in front of the shoulders curl the toes under and let's just start to lift the knees up off the ground and send your hips, but keep your knees bent and send your hips up and back. Okay, so it's kind of like you're pulling up from the tailbone and lifting towards the ceiling. So we'll just do that a few times. You're just going to bend your knees, sit into your hips, bend, you know, towards your heels, and then lift up as you come up and straighten your legs. Let's do that two more times. So coming down, sitting back, inhaling, lift, exhaling, sit back, and lift again. Good. Now release your head and your neck. Shake your head and your neck out and pedal the feet out. Your hands should be about shoulder width apart, your feet hip width apart, and you're just pedaling out one heel at a time. Good, let's lower the knees and come into a plank just on your knees. <clears throat> Keep your elbows tucked in. When you, when you start to come down, you're, you're bending your elbows, but you're keeping them tucked 
towards your ribs. So you're not doing, you're not like coming out with your elbows. So as you lower, 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 lower down to the belly, good. We'll just practice our cobras here. So let's just do it with the hands a little bit more forward. It's just less stress on the back and your feet can be together, but it's usually easier if they're slightly apart. Shoulders rolling back, elbows are tucked towards your ribs and inhale, lift your chest. Now you don't have to come too high. You can even keep your elbows bent and let's lift the heart. Lift the chin, exhale, lower down, lower the forehead. Inhale, use your back muscles as best you can. Lift your chest. Exhale, come all the way down. If I keep laughing, it's because of my cats. Again, inhaling, lift, peel yourself up. Let your head come up last. Open your heart, your throat, your chin. Exhale, lower. One more time. Peeling up and lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Now bring your hands close to the ribs. Come to the knees and just send your hips back into child's pose. So your hands are forward for now. It's kind of an active child's pose with your elbows lifted and your hips coming back and breathe. Inhale, rolling back to tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. Curl the toes under, send your hips up. Look forward and start to walk yourself towards your hands. Just walk, walk to the front of your mat. And come to your forward fold. Your feet can be hip width apart. And just hang out here. Let your arms dangle. And let your... Head, just completely relax, completely head heavy, just let your head go. You can even interlace your fingers behind your the, the bottom of your head or your neck and just kind of do a small little traction there if you feel it. It feels good to you. I like doing this because the, the gravity and my hands kind of bring an opening to the neck. Good. Shake it out side to side. Just let it go. And keep your knees bent. We're going to slowly roll up on your next inhale, rolling slowly. One vertebra at a time, just slowly coming up. Let your head be really, really heavy till the very top. When you get there is when you lift your head. And up, roll the shoulders back when you're there. Just a few times. Good. And now let's open up the heart center, palms facing forward. So you're just kind of looking kind of like this. I'm just facing the camera. So your palms are forward. Your heart is open. Your chin is back. So you're just facing the front of your mat like that. Being in receiving mode, you're just your palms are nice and stretched open, and you're just re ready to receive healing for yourself, healing for the planet, really. But by healing yourself, by centering yourself, you're helping the planet. Okay, so from here, let's inhale and rotate the arms, come up overhead, lift your arms, palms come together, exhale, bring it into your heart center. Again, inhaling, lift. Arms are reaching, hands touch, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, palms to the heart center. Inhale, let's lift up again. Hold on to your right wrist. And then as you exhale, you're going to hinge and pull the right wrist over to the left and push down through your right foot as you do this 
side bend. You're just opening up the right side. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, grab your left wrist and hinge over to the opposite side. Inhale, lift to center. Release your arms. Exhale. Bring your hands to your hips. And let's actually bring the feet a little bit wider. And we're going to do some big circles with the upper body. Okay. So, start in whichever direction. We did this seated. Now we're doing it standing. I find this really is good for the lower back and your whole digestive system. So as you inhale, you're rotating forward. Sorry, backwards. As you exhale, you're rotating forward. That's what I meant. As you inhale, rotate back. And just keep doing these nice, big circles. If it's too much, you can slow it down or decrease the size of the circles. Big breaths, opening the heart center as you come back, exhaling forward. Keep your legs fairly straight in this position. It's a nice... Stretch for the back of the legs, too. And switch directions. Let's inhale and lift back up to center. Exhale, release your hands. Good. And now at the front of your mat, just bring your feet a little bit closer. If your shoulders are tight, um, you can... Now, I don't have a strap to demonstrate, but you can hold a strap between your hands or, I don't know, a sock or a scarf. If you're okay with it, you can interlace your hands behind your back and use this clasp to, to do this next one. So feet are maybe an inch or two apart, and let's inhale with your arms, hands together, lift the heart, open the chest, bend your knees, exhale, belly towards your thigh, and if you can, lift your arms off your back. Let your head go. Shake your head yes and no. From here, let's release the hand, let's fingertips to the ground, plant your palms, bend your knees, step your right foot back, all the way back. You want a big step back, so you want a nice long stance. Lower your right knee down, you can lower your foot down. Now, some people will have blocks at home, you can put a block on either side of your, sorry, under each hand, and use that to elevate you up, so that's an option. Um, otherwise, your fingertips on the ground, are fine. And we'll just do some hip stretches here. So you want to keep your left hip pulled back in all times of this movement. So here your heart comes forward as you inhale. As you exhale, you're pulling the left hip back as you stri straighten the left leg and point the toes up towards the ceiling and hinge forward. And we're just going to keep doing that. Inhale. Bend your knee, plant your foot, heart forward, lift your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, pull your left hip back. Toes towards the ceiling, hinge. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, hinge back. Inhale, lift your heart, bend your knee. Exhale. Left hip back. Inhale, heart forward. Stay here as you exhale. Plant your right hand down. Lift your left hand, so it can be on a block if you need. Left hand comes up for a twist. Reaching up. Opening towards the ceiling. You can let your left hand come behind your back if you like. And if you can, look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, 
Inhale, look forward. Bring your left hand down. Exhale. Let's see if we can lift up. Coming up to the thigh with both hands. Lifting out through your pelvis so you're not sinking down. You're trying to lift everything up. Make sure your knee is over the ankle. And if you want the challenge, you can take it. You can curl the toes under. And see if you want to, if you don't have to do this, you can lift your knee off the ground. Wherever you're at, doesn't matter. Let's inhale, lift the, the arms up. Bend your elbows, come into cactus arms, open up your chest, lifting up to the ceiling, push your heel back, lifting out through the back of the thigh, lifting it towards the ceiling, keep breathing. So ujjayi breath, I'm exhaling through the mouth, you can do that too. If you do ujjayi breathing, it's mouth closed. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, let's step to a plank, left foot back. Lower the knees if you need to. On your next exhale, bend your elbows lower down to the belly. Plant your feet down. Inhale, little cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Curl the toes under. Lift your hips back. Look forward and step forward between your hands. Let your whole spine release. Inhale, bend the knees. Coming all the way up. And come overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, coming forward all the way down. Start to plant your hands, bend your knees deeper, and send your left foot back into your high lunge first. Make sure it's all the way back, and then you can lower down your knee. Once you have a good stance, your, your right knee is over the ankle, and plant your foot down. Okay, so we will do our movements here for the hip stretch. Make sure your right hip is coming back, and you're squaring your hips. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, right hip comes back, and straighten the right knee. As best you can, point the toes up to the ceiling, bend and hinge. Inhale, lift the heart. Bend your knee. Exhale, straighten the leg. Point your toes up. Left, sorry, right hip coming back. Inhale, lift, bend your knee. Exhale, hinge back. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, hinge. On your next inhale, staying with your, your heart forward. Exhale, plant your hand, your left hand. Inhale, right hand up for the twist. Open up. Exhale, you can release your hand behind your back and just breathe here as you open the chest towards the ceiling. Inhale, let's bring the hand back down. Exhale. Good. So if you want the challenge, you can curl the back toes under, lift the knee off the ground, push the heel back, lifting your thigh up towards the ceiling. If you like, you can keep the knee on the ground. It's totally fine. So we're just going to work our way up. Hands to thigh. And then when you feel ready, We'll lift the arms as you inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. Open your elbows. Lift your chest. Again, lower the knee if you have to, but take the challenge if you want to. This just challenges your balance and your strength, your inner strength, your external strength. Keep opening up the chest. Bend your, your elbows, opening wider. Inhale, lift your hands. 
Exhale, plant them down. Good. And now let's send the left foot forward to meet the right. So inhaling, just kind of sending your hips back a bit. Exhale, step between your, sorry, step both feet between your hands now and forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Now let's take the right foot uh, and send it to the back of your mat. So we're going to come into a wide stance. And your toes are slightly in. Okay. Toes are slightly in. And just come as wide as you can comfortably. And we're going to bring the hands, again, that, that clasping position. If you need a strap or something, you can hold that between your hands. Okay. So here's another heart opener. Deep stretch for the legs, too. So let's inhale and lift the chest nice and tall. Exhale, fold. Coming down slowly with your legs straight, mostly straight. And then start to hinge and see if you can lift your arms off your back and let your head drop. If, if your arms don't come far, that's fine. Just if they're, if they're just slightly off your back, that's totally fine. Just do what works. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, start to push through your feet, coming halfway, inhale, all the way up, exhale, release your hands, shake them out, good, let's point the right toes uh, out, and the left foot stays parallel to the edge of the mat, so the so this would be, I guess, the front of your mat here. So we're just facing the back of the mat right now. And let's bend the, let's bend the right knee. Knee goes in the direction of your toes. Just make sure it's not knocking in or out. It stays over the ankle. Warrior two, inhale. And exhale. So just notice your stance and your posture. Some people stand with their shoulders in front of, uh, beyond the hips. You want to just have an alignment with your shoulders and hips. Like that. Good. So let's dance in our, in our warrior. So right palm faces up. Inhale. Keep your knee, right knee bent. Lift and hinge over your left leg. Your left leg is straight. Reach your right arm over your ear. Exhale. Right arm to thigh, right thigh. And inhale. Arm up. Exhale. Reach overhead. Inhale. Coming back to center. Exhale, left arm down, the left leg. Inhale, lift back to center. Exhale, forearm to thigh and reach over. So the, the breath will come smoother as you get used to the movement. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, exhale, reach over the left leg. Inhale, center. Exhale, arm to thigh and left arm overhead. Keep the heart towards the front of your, sorry, towards the ceiling. Inhale, center. Exhale, let's straighten the leg and point the toes uh, to the original position and now left toes out. Bend your left knee. Warrior two on the left side. So back so we're just remember heel to arch alignment. Good. Left palm up, inhale. And exhale, right arm over down the leg and left arm over the ear. Inhale, center. Exhale, forearm to thigh, left forearm to thigh, right arm over the ear. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, right arm down the leg, left arm over the ear. Inhale. 
Exhale, forearm to thigh, reach with your right arm. One more time, inhale, center. Exhale, right arm down the leg, reach your left arm over. Exhale, back to center. You can do one more time this way. Because now we're going to come to, to uh, the mat. So let's plant the hands on either side of the left foot. Inhale, step to plank. Bend your knees if you need to lower them. Exhale, lower to the belly. Inhale into your cobra. Exhale, let's just do a child's pose. Stretch out, send your hips back. Inhale, roll yourself up to tabletop. Exhale, let's actually do one more nice heart opener on the belly. So lower yourself to the belly completely. It's a nice twist too. So keep your left hand under your left shoulder and your right arm comes straight out from your right shoulder with the palm facing down, okay? So you're not at an angle this way or that way. You're right straight out from your shoulder. And then you're going to push into your left hand to roll away from your right arm. And it's like you're rolling in a twist. And then your left leg's on top. You can either keep it stacked or you can bend it and plant it behind your right leg. And then just stay here for your twisted shoulder opener, chest opener. This is a great one if you're feeling really tight in the chest. And so from here, you're welcome to take your left hand behind your back and breathe. Just remembering your intention again, because you're being in one posture, staying still, you can sort of go inwards again. Remembering just anything that you want for yourself and for the planet. Inhale, exhale, roll back to center. Left hand comes down and right arm comes in. Plant your right palm under your right shoulder. Left arm comes straight out from your left shoulder, palms down. And then start to push into the right hand. And I don't know if I'm affecting my microphone doing this. Anyways, we'll see. Same stretch on this side. So you can bend your right knee and plant it down and let your head rest on the ground. If you want, your right arm can come behind your back and breathe. Inhale, exhale, roll yourself back to center. Plant your hands under your shoulders, you lift your hips back. And then just walk your knees forward a bit, cross your ankles, and sit back. So I'm going to face you, but you can um, stay lengthwise on your mat if you like, just so you can see me better. <laughs> Let's send um, the left foot forward and tuck your right foot into your into your left thigh. 
up, inhale, open up, lift your arms, exhale, fold, and just hinge belly to thigh, chin is staying pinned to your leg, tuck, tuck back, and breathe, folding into this bend, it's just, you don't want to force yourself, just hold wherever you can comfortably and release. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, let's twist. Left thigh, sorry, left hand on the right thigh and right fingertips behind you. Lift as you inhale. So you're lifting your heart. Exhale, twist. Look behind your right shoulder. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, switch the leg. So you're going to tuck your left foot in to your right thigh, and your toes are pointing up. Just make sure you have that suit to get a, a better, deeper stretch in the back of your legs. Inhale, lift your heart. Fold as you exhale, and release. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, you're going to turn towards your uh, left leg, right arm, right hand on the left side, left fingertips behind you. For your twist, inhale as you lift. Exhale as you twist. Inhale, look forward again. Exhale, and let's come back and straighten both legs now. Just to get nice opening in the back of the legs at the same time. Inhale, lift your arms, pulse by and exhale, belly to thigh. So reach where you can. This might be your shins, your toes. Inhale, or we'll just do a pumping movement. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. You're hinging from your hips. Inhale, lift. Chin is tucked back. Exhale, fold. So you don't have to go as fast as I'm going, but it's a, it's kind of a powerful movement. Inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, plant the hands behind you for a moment. And you can have your fingers forward. I feel like for me, fingers forward back feel better. Toes are pointing. If you want, you can bend one knee at a time and lift your hips or bend both knees. We're going to try both legs straight. You try your best here. If you can't do it, bend your knees. So here we go. You're going to start to push into your arms, lift your hips as high as you can comfortably let your head fall back if it's comfortable or just keep it neutral now again you can bend one knee and push through that foot if you are doing that let's switch sides and bend the other knee or keep your knees bent we'll choose one version inhale exhale Lower your hips and just slow the hands to the back. So you just keep your feet planted. We're just going to lower slowly as slowly as you can without falling. <laughs> okay, good. Let's plant the feet right up to the hips, hip width apart.
palms are by your sides, palms facing down. And we're going to come into our bridge, but we're going to move up and down into it. So pushing through the feet, you're going to inhale, lift your hips, and then arms coming up and overhead behind you. Quick big feet keep lifting. Exhale, lower everything down, arms by your sides, hips down. So just try to feel each vertebra as it lifts, flowing slowly with your breath. Let me see if I can get that. Exhale, slowly lower everything down. Feeling each bone as it drops down to the mat. Inhale. as you drop slowly. One more time, lift everything up. Exhale, release everything down. From here, let's cross the right ankle above the left, on the left side, just above the knee. Push your right knee away from you. And then start to gently bring the left knee in towards your chest, towards your left shoulder. And then you can hug the left thigh with your hand. Thread the needle, as they call it. And just pull in towards you to stretch your right hip. If you want, you can straighten your, your um, left leg and just do some circles with your ankle in one direction the other and just keep breathing as you do this. For some people, this the, having the foot down on the ground may be enough to make you feel enough, but most people do need to pull in to be able to feel a deeper stretch here. Inhale. Exhale. Let's just slowly release the left foot down. Bring your arms in a T, and we're going to drop the knee, just keeping that knee, um, that ankle crossed. We're going to drop your knees over to the right and look to your left. So the, the, um, it's a twist with your right foot kind of having that weight down onto the left thigh. As you twist, it's just assisting to go a little bit deeper. Looking over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let's just release that side. And center the hips, and now cross the left ankle over the thigh, the right thigh. Push the left knee away. And then start to bring in your right thigh, and you just hold it with your hand, bringing it in towards your right shoulder. Make sure also you're not like tightening up your shoulders. Like if you cannot hold your leg without your shoulders coming off the ground, then don't go as far. Just maybe just keep the foot down, just because you don't want to strain your upper <laughs> upper body while you do this. So from here, if you like, you can straighten your right leg a bit and just rotate your right leg. And twist the other way. And now plant your right foot. And we'll do the twist on this other side. So arms are out in a T. You can even shift your hips to the right a bit. And then Drop your knees over to the left, using the right foot and ankle to just guide that twist a little bit deeper. Turn your head to the right. Inhale back to center. 
exhale, let's release that foot. Now you can do an inversion of your choice. Most people will just take a waterfall because, um, which, well, I mean, not most people, some people may just choose this version of an inversion. You, you can also place a block underneath your hips and elevate your legs more that way. I'd say let's just do this one for now. For those of you who are very much into yoga, you're welcome to take a shoulder stand. Um, that's totally up to you, but for now, I'm just going to have you guys do the waterfall pose, which is just a more relaxed kind of bringing just fresh blood back to the upper body, releasing um, any stagnation there in the, in the limbs. If you want, you can play and bring your legs wide and do whatever feels good right now. So just breathe. Inhale, exhale, start to bend your knees, tuck your knees in, just do a little massage, circle the knees together in one direction, and the other. If there's any last stretch you want to do, you can go ahead, otherwise we're just going to lay down in Shavasana, and I'm going to sit up, you guys get to lay down, because I'm going to read to you. So just start to soften down and if you have a blanket you may want to cover yourself or just get comfortable enough because we're gonna lay we're gonna lay down through a progressive relaxation which is yoga nidra style and because of all the um, stress in this world, I will do a loving kindness meditation to help kind of bring more healing into yourself, to people you know, and to the planet. So once you're settled, down. You can bring your arms by your sides with the palms facing up. Let your shoulder blades be down with the mat. Let your uh, legs flop out to the sides. Just let your feet kind of relax out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just softening and relaxing more. Inhaling and exhale, soften more. Just notice any sounds around you in the space that you're in. Following each sound. And then Develop your awareness of your room that you're in, the walls, the ceiling, and the floor, and your body lying on the floor. Just become aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Become aware of your breath, the natural, deep breath. Spontaneous breath. And just know that you're listening to me and that you're breathing. And just say to yourself mentally, I am going to practice yoga nidra. I will not sleep.
And then any intention that you made, you're just going to repeat it with your, to yourself with feeling and awareness three times in your mind. You could start with I am. And now we begin rotation of consciousness through different parts of the body. I'll name parts of your body, and in your mind, you'll repeat the part of the body after me, just becoming aware of it. You don't need to move that part, just simple awareness of that part. And we always start with the right side. So let's start with the right hand thumb. Second finger, third, fourth, fifth, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third, fourth, fifth left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third, fourth, fifth, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, the spine, the whole of the back together, top of the head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrow center, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, nose, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, left chest, middle of the chest, navel, abdomen, lower abdomen, whole of the right leg, whole of the left leg, both legs together, whole of the right arm, whole of the left arm, both arms together, whole of the back, whole of the front, 
whole of the head together. Legs, arms, back, front, head, together, the whole body together, the whole body together, the whole body together. And just notice the wave-like movement in your belly. Throat to navel and navel to throat. And in this next part, we'll be cultivating loving kindness. We all have this capacity within us. A friendship that is unconditional and open, gentle, and supportive. Loving kindness is the natural opening of a compassionate heart to ourselves and others. It's a wish that everyone be happy. So we begin by developing loving kindness towards ourselves and allow our hearts to open with tenderness. Allow yourself to remember just to open up to your goodness, your kindness. If you can't acknowledge it easily, then just look at yourself through the eyes of someone who does love you a lot. What does that person love about you? You may even recall the unconditional love you felt from a beloved pet. And it may help to even use your imagination and picture yourself as a young child standing in front of you around four or five years old. And that may allow just more tender feelings of kindness to flow more easily towards yourself. As you experience this love, notice how you feel in your body. Maybe you feel some warmth or a heat in your face, a smile, a sense of expansiveness. And this is loving kindness, a natural feeling that's accessible to all of us. So just rest with this feeling of open, unconditional love. Letting yourself bask in the energy of loving kindness, breathing it in and breathing it out, inviting the feelings of peace and acceptance in words. So, beginning now to wish yourself well by extending words of loving kindness to yourself. <clears throat> Towards yourself, you can say these words now. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. 
May I feel connected and calm. May I, I accept myself just as I am. May I be happy. May I know the natural joy of being alive. And again, repeat in, in your mind these words of friendship and kindness to yourself. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. May I feel connected and calm. May I accept myself just as I am. May I be happy. May I know the natural joy of being alive. Now you can open the circle of loving kindness by bringing to mind someone who's dear to you, someone you care about, and just reflect on this person's basic goodness, sensing what it is in particular you love about him or her. And begin your simple offering. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you feel my love now. May you accept yourself just as you are. May you be happy. May you know the natural joy of being alive. Now bring to mind a neutral person. This is someone you might see regularly, but you don't know that well. It could be an acquaintance. Maybe a neighbor or someone you see when you go grocery shopping. Bring this person to mind and repeat the words of loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you feel my new, my love now. May you accept yourself just as you are. May you be happy. May you know the natural joy of being alive. And now bring to mind someone who you've had a difficult relationship Perhaps someone you don't feel sympathy or compassion for. And just see if it's possible to let go of feelings of resentment. In this moment, reminding yourself to see this person as a whole being, an innocent being of deserving of this loving kindness. Someone who feels all the pain you feel and all the anxieties you feel and someone who also suffers and just see if it's possible now to extend to this person the words of loving kindness may you be filled with loving kindness may you be held in loving kindness may you feel my love now may you accept yourself just as you are. May you be happy. May you know the natural joy of being alive. Now allow your awareness to open out in all directions to yourself, a dear one, a neutral person, and a difficult person and of all beings, humans, animals, the earth itself. Living in richness, poverty, war, peace, hunger and abundance, all the disorder, everything that exists at this moment in this planet, on this planet, in this world. Aware of all the joys and sorrows that all beings experience. And again, may all beings be filled with loving kindness. May all beings be happy. 
May all beings awaken and be free. May all beings be happy. Sending out this love to the entire planet, this healing to the entire planet. Feel it radiating from your heart center. And in just encompassing the entire earth itself. And then bringing that energy back to the kindness towards yourself, just coming back to your own heart center, slowly bringing it all back into yourself and filling yourself up one more time with love. And just let yourself bask in the energy of this loving kindness. Inhale deeply, exhale, inhale, start to awaken the body, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, Repeat your initial intention to yourself three times with feeling and awareness. And just let these sounds just come into your heart center and start to Affect your consciousness. Wiggle your toes and your fingers and rotate your ankles and wrists. Stretch your arms overhead. Point your toes, stretch your body. And then bend your knees and hold on to your shins as you rock side to side. And then start to come on to the right side. Just resting your head on your arm and your knees are bent. And then slowly start to push yourself up to a seated position, staying, if you like, with your eyes closed. And then bring your hands to your heart center, palms together. And here's a quote from Muji, spiritual teacher. To change the world is not your mission. 
to change yourself is not your duty. To awaken to your true nature is your opportunity. This whole experience we're having is an opportunity to wake up to our true nature. That's all it is. There's more. There's a lot going on. But if you want to use this time for yourself, it is a great time to open to the possibilities, to the truth of who you are. By centering yourself, by coming back to yourself, you will help this planet just by being who you really are. By being the love that you are, by spreading love and kindness, this is how you will elevate consciousness within yourself and others. So just remember that you can only control you. That's about it. Thank yourself for being here with me in this practice. Love, light, and health to you. And we'll inhale together for a long suck and a short numb. Inhale. Suck.